Going back to the Jesus film, um, and this is sort of interesting, originally premiering in 250 U.S. theaters in 1979, since 2002, it has had over 5 billion viewings. And the Jesus Film Project is hoping through its app and other media to reach 5 billion more viewings by 2025, mm -hmm. so next year. So can such media be, is it, is it all right to use it as an evangelistic tool as so many have in other countries around the world? Yeah. What would you say? I have friends who work for the Jesus Film and- In uh, our church, in fact, right? Not, uh, yeah, actually at our church, yeah. we have people as well. Um, and I, the Jesus Film, what is, and the, I, I think this, I'm glad you brought that up, Chris, because this kind of helps fill in the conversation. The Jesus film is used to take to people where the, the Bible is not in their language. Mm -hmm. And so they show the film in villages in remote parts of the world, and they show this film, and people are being converted through the Jesus film because they're able to understand the work of Christ. And yes, God has used it greatly. And that's where I would, that's actually the Jesus film is part of what helped me to think critically about this. Because when I first heard Vody's, I heard what Vody, and I've heard Vody preach and say that same thing. And I, and I used to think that. Um, but as I thought critically about it, one of the things that made me, or one of the things that encouraged me to think critically about it was the Jesus film. Hmm. And as I did, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to tweak my theology because of the Jesus film, but I was just trying to think really critically about, does it break the second commandment? Hmm. Are Christians bound by the second commandment? Um, is it a sin to watch the chosen? Is it helpful? I would say the same thing about the Jesus film that I said about the the chosen as it relates to depicting the image of Christ. I would I would say this though, the difference is, and as I'm aware, it's been years since I've watched the Jesus film. The Jesus film is kind of like a harmony of the gospels, and it's an it mm. it 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 does not take a whole lot of license of filling in the white spaces. Mm -hmm. It really tries to just portray... And, it's, and it was in purely evangelistic, it was not purely for entertainment. Not right. for entertainment. Right. Right. And I do think there's a distinction That's there. That's what they would say. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, yeah right. you're right. But I do think that there is a distinction there. Um, so, But again, that's what I want to say. Is it a sin? I, I, no, I don't think it's a sin. So going outside and saying things that are a sin for like what we're this is why it's so, it's so easy to struggle with this question because you've got to make a distinction between is, is it wise or not. That's different than if it's sinful or not. You know, yes. and it's like yeah, we would or like having an image of something. You know, well, how? My thing is, we should really if we if we if we stuck to consistency, we'd realize how inconsistent we all are in these things, and maybe consistency is what we should be going for. Uh, Vody Bachman is such, we would all agree, a powerful preacher. Oh, so uh, thankful for his ministry. Good grief, yeah. man. I can hear that guy preach as I have for years and just like, I feel like I'm getting converted again and yeah. again and again. It's wonderful I to hear. I think the paint on the walls gets converted. Yeah, he's just <laughs> when Bode thundering. Bachman and and, and yeah, when yeah. he speaks into ethics, too, I mean, he has yeah. a powerful voice and he's just a wonderful man of God that's done so much for the gospel and for the sake of Christ and the yeah. church. Thank you for saying that. You're for sure. Right. But, you know, he also, I read an article where he did. I really come down hard against watching the chosen, and I'm like, and I'm thinking, I don't know how consistent he can be with this. And this isn't against Vody in particular, because I don't know the man personally or anything. Because we've already said he's done some wonderful, he has a wonderful ministry, but he, I found it to be inconsistent when he is saying one of his reasons were when I read the article, and he's got a good point here. The chosen is distributed by two very, very well known and wealthy members of the Church of Latter day Saints. Mm. So there is a Mormon influence on the chosen. There's no doubt about it. In some sense, there's a Mormon influence. Maybe if it, if it goes into the script, some have made that argument it, it has. If not, then it's being distributed by them, right? Mm. And so that's a reason for that Bachman said he's got to just turn away from that. However, I find it ironic that he makes that case and others on the Glenn Beck show, hmm. who's a friend of his, who was an outspoken Mormon, hmm. you know? So there's an inconsistency there. You can't tell people you're in sin if you're watching the show because it's backed by Mormons while you are per <laughs> having a public friendship with a Mormon on their show so you can have a platform to speak. Hmm. And now if he was here, he'd probably say, well, I mean, I'm able to correct things of Glenn Beck, whatever. My point is, are you, are, before we start saying what's sin and what's not, first, let's define it if, it, if the Bible calls it sin. And two, can you yourself be consistent to it? This goes back to even appealing to the second commandment. You can't even be cons – those who appeal to that, the argument being made, can't even stay consistent to the commandment itself yeah, yeah. because it says not make images of things even in the water. And that's why we would say it's a sin because we don't believe it's breaking the second commandment. <laughs>